Korean mom. Drake vs. Charlemagne, it's back. Is this still a thing? Clearly, it's still a thing. Uh, how many years are we at now with this Drake Charlemagne beef? Hey, yeah. um, I, then he said, "You gonna make me buy bottles for Charlemagne?" And he did it. Yeah, and then he, he sent them it. some bottles. Yeah. And, and the, the card said, "Let's be friends." It let's be friends, and now they're back. Uh, Charlemagne and Drake and Drake is now addressing Charlemagne as being weirdly obsessed with him he posted on his story he said are you okay Leonard uh, you kind of weird me out G funny name like you really obsessed with me or something for years like you look in the mirror and wish you saw my reflection type shit mm. whatever you gotta do to let it out I'm sure your 435 loyal fans will stand by you <laughs> You fucking goof. It's a very specific <laughs> funny number. Yeah, I mean, this is just, you know, that's the type of shit you post when you're just selling out every fucking arena. You're still on tour and, and just, life is great. Was that a skin bleaching dig mixed in there? Yeah. Was that some rapper? Wish you were my reflection type shit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Probably. That's know, that's how I, I took it. It's probably some okay, it's probably it. some shit in there that we got to kind of like, you know, dig Dissect. through. Um, I mean, when, when Drake posted all the photos and even some of this text, I thought the funniest shit was just posting photos of Charlemagne. Yeah, that was hilarious. Like, that's just wild. If I'm going to get at somebody, I'm just going to post photos of them that they've posted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's Come like, on. That's kind of hilarious. Um, but also, I don't know. I mean, I think this is suppressed anger for Charlemagne for quite some time. So this stems from Charlemagne said that Drake dropped the Slime You Out record, which debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Mm -hmm. But he's, he dropped the record and Charlemagne said, damn, Drake dropped the record and nobody's even talking about that shit. Mm -hmm. which we spoke about. We all agreed that it's a good song. It's not a terrible song. Good song. We just wasn't expecting that to be the single that we heard, um, which is fair. I think most people feel like that. Like, we didn't think that was going to be a single. Thinking the flow of the album, when we get the whole album, and we hear the song, I'm like, okay, fits well, sounds good. Because even if you listen to the song, it's it's a good song. It's not a bad song. But um, I guess Drake didn't like that. Um, so then he went on and, and posted a bunch of model pictures of, of Charlemagne. Um <laughs> I know Charlemagne is happy about but that. But with starting it out with it's three different sexual orientations and then posting a, a bunch of, you know, I won't say it. No, but that's photos of Charlemagne is hilarious. But that's what Charlemagne said. He said it's he said it's three different types of I remember the clip. Three sexual orientations out here. It's gay, straight, and Drake. Yeah. So I think it's funny that him just posting <laughs> that's pretty funny. just that caption, three different type of sexual orientations, and then a bunch of, of pictures of Charlemagne. Of Charlemagne in a specific uh yeah. view. Specific type of air in the show. Like I feel like you can't put those photos out and also say there's three types of sexual orientation: <laughs> gay, straight, and me. When you also look like a different sexual orientation as well. I thought that was funny, but like it's kind of late at this point. I thought Drake is allowed to feel away because Charlemagne back in the day used to shoot for no reason at Drake. Yeah, and like, well, you and, and over the top way he used to shit on Drake. But this during is, that era. But this is this is why Drake. This is what Charlemagne wanted though. He's also bored on tour, like I keep saying with a lot of this Instagram stuff that Drake is doing. He's sitting in his hotel room laughing at this. He's not really upset. No, no, no. He's listen, Drake is he's, he's just bored. Not upset at none of this shit. <laughs> he's, he's on sad. tour. Things he has repetitive. time to entertain the, the, yeah. the fuck shit. And I think that, you know, I think that remark rubbed it would rub any man some type of way when you say there's three sexual orientations. But, and he's gay straight and then me. I would feel some type of way, like, the fuck does that mean? For years <laughs> was shitting on Drake. So I get it. But then you can't also send me bottles and say, let's be friends. And I, if I don't reply, like, that doesn't mean we're friends. He can continue to go and critique Drake. No, he can. You can go. Listen, once you put out something for the consumers and the consumers receive it, however they re respond to it, you have no control over that. Just don't look like the third sexual orientation. Right. I think that's what I think that's what Drake is leaning more to. Like, yo, like, why you always got some extra spice when it comes to me? Like, why you want to? Why whenever it's me? And But this is why Charlemagne is doing that. Charlemagne, he wants the reaction. He wants to go back and have a back and forth with arguably the biggest artist in the world. Like, you want that to It's attention for Charlemagne. It brings people to, to, to his page. People that don't know who he is now know who he is. Does, well, yeah. The you know what I mean? Like, 35 fans he has, which is... I mean, it's, it's just, you but, know, it's, it, this is just a way for Drake to finally say, all right, look, you want some attention, clearly. Well, Charlemagne hasn't been going back and forth with very many people for quite some time. Um, he's taken subs and a few shots here and there, but he's really pulled back to this new fake healed Charlemagne. Do mm -hmm. you think he replies to this? Do you think he goes oh, absolutely. on some type of rant? Absolutely. This is what he wanted. He wants the back and forth. This is what people do. They say something about you. They they shoot at the biggest the biggest name. If the biggest name responds, showtime. We got him. I really don't think Charlemagne did that on his podcast looking for a response. I think 
years ago when he was doing like the outlandish, just bringing Drake up when no one was even talking about him, doing digs that have nothing to do with music. You don't music, think he did that his, for a response? I think he did it for a response at that time. He was trying to get Drake to reply to him. His last one about the single, you don't think he did that? Like, no, I think he was probably just on the podcast reviewing topics with Schultz the way a podcast does. You think, if he um, went super in the way he used to, I would say Charlemagne's trying to get a reaction. I think he was just honestly covering the song in the lens that he saw it. But also Charlemagne is older with kids and man. he doesn't know what people are really talking about. Yeah. I think he would admit that. Saying nobody's talking about the song and their debuts are number one. But that's, I mean, okay. <laughs> in Charlemagne's defense, I said the same thing about Search and Rescue. It's about to be what, the number one song of the year? Yeah. You guys think so? I can I can see a world search where search and rescue is about to be the number one song. It of the broke year. some it's, Spotify it's, record it's that I don't know. Performing very well. It's doing really good. Search and rescue is not going to be the number one song of the year. Um, it broke a bunch of records when I great. also said no one was talking about it, which is a dumb take when you're talking about metrics. But when Charlamagne's saying I just don't see people within my circle or people that are really into music or even my Twitter timeline, that's what I think he's referring to. I don't know. Because that's what I was saying with Search and Rescue. Mm -hmm. we, had, we got a single from Drake, and I haven't heard shit from it, but of course it's going to break every Spotify record. It's Drake. You know, I saw people talking about Slime You Out. You know, way more than Search and Rescue. You know what's funny about people saying, yo, because we do that too? I don't go nowhere to hear no fucking record. Like, where the fuck would I hear any of these songs at? It's not about hearing it. He said he doesn't hear anybody talking about it. And, where and, would you hear people talking okay, about the record at? We know that can mean other things, like, Train. I know your, I know your timeline is just your timeline. It's fucked up to view the world that way. But you know when you see on your story if that's a song girls are tagging with their shit. If it's in captions. If it's on your Twitter timeline of people talking up past the day of release. You know what we mean when we say I don't see people talking about. It. We should be more specific. But I get what Charlemagne is, is but, saying. But we've all we've all done that, and I'm, that's I'm what saying. I'm, I did it with Search and Rescue, and it's about to be one of the highest stream songs of. <laughs> But where, whatever, where would you go where they're playing that song though? Search and Rescue? Yeah. I don't know. This the is what radio. I'm trying to say. You don't even frequent play. You're not in the strip clubs. No. You're not in the clubs every week. No. Where would you be? Like now people have, you know, and this is how people are creating songs and, and albums now. Everything is just a playlist. Well, I only get worldly music when I go out with Edin and Julia. A lot of oonts oonts. Yes. It's we know not, what that's about. It's not. It's on my piano. But, being, it's oonts, but oonts. Being, being playlist worthy is worth more than you be, your song being played in the club. Ski Yee is being played in the club. That shit ain't nowhere near number one. And that's the biggest song played in the club, right? Yeah, but you you can but you see because people are actively making videos with Ski Yee and all of that. Like you can see that on social media. I'm saying like a song like Slime You Out. I agree with Charlemagne. It's not. It's not the song that we thought we were going to hear. We didn't think there was going to be that type of record. He's we we said that. Like, but I also said it's still a good song when you listen to the lyrics, listen to the music, you listen to the melodies. Like, but it's I still a good he, song. Did he say it was a bad song? I think he just said he doesn't see anybody talking about it. You know, I'm not saying he said it was a, a bad song. I'm just saying like he he's saying like we're kind of saying the same thing. Like, and I think most people always we didn't expect that to be the single. Mm -hmm. When you hear for the dogs, we thought we was getting real. Rap bars over like alchemist beats, like just in our mind, we thinking like, oh, Drake about to give us that one rap album that we all saying that we need from him, and then we get slime you out, which is like me melodic R and B, kind of slower tempo, but it still got the bars on there, the captions. He gave us a whole calendar year in one verse, like so. Okay, it's not a bad song; it's a good song. We just wasn't expecting that to be what the single sounded like. I think that an artist like Drake now is. That he can do whatever he wants. Let's start there. Drake can put out any type of record. It's going to go. It's going to do what it's going to do. When the album drops, we'll hear it in the flow of the album. It may sound better. It may sound like, oh, we could have did without that. My thing is, I think that Drake is probably looking at Charlemagne like, yo, for years, you've always had a little salt for me. Mm -hmm. You've always had a little... To, to say something? Yeah, like you've always had a little... You kept a little deuce deuce when my name come up to, to, to throw a shot at me. And this may not have been a shot. He may have just been reviewing the record. But it's going to feel like it's a shot because for years, that's what you've been doing mm -hmm. to Drake. Sure. Yeah. But I, I, I like what Drake has been doing this year as far as media goes. Like, it has been digs towards Elliot, even though it's just little comments and it's the Charlemagne thing. He's just posting pictures. I still think it's great that the biggest rapper in the world is in tune and replying to what People are doing like podcasting it. and meet like, yeah. I like it. It's great. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a dig, I think it's healthy for the media culture and artists should be able to reply to everything that the media says and we shouldn't call them sensitive for it. Because as we see, 
mad media people get sensitive when they finally get reply back to as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's healthy, especially the biggest artist, and doing it in fun too. Like, yeah. Drake's not really getting sensitive. Yeah, about he's not shit. upset. He's having fun with it and acknowledging that he is seeing what everybody is saying within the hip hop media culture. I think Drake only gets upset if life is not as good, great as it is for him. When you when life is as great as it is for you uh, for an artist like Drake, you don't give a fuck with somebody saying on a podcast about their single. It, it doesn't matter. No, you don't um, care. Drake, Drake, no, no, no. We, we definitely know Drake takes yeah, he a lot don't of shit. Give personally. a fuck, man. It's number he, one. He just posted the it's uh, not number one. It debuted at number one. The song is not number one. You okay, can they, debut at number one because everybody went and listened to it when it was released. That's all that matters. I also don't think that type of song was intended, even though it's Drake, intended to be a number one record. But the structure matter. of that song is... It debuted at number one. People like the record. They just didn't think that that's what the first single for For the Dogs, For All the Dogs would sound like. That's all it is. Oh, while we were recording, Charlemagne did actually reply on The Breakfast Club, like we mentioned before. Um, he took a plea. Called it. But I, I figured Charlemagne was going to take a plea. He's new fake healed Charlemagne. Fake he healed. said that he's lying. That's his new thing that I see that he does. Julian did call him. I'm about to just say something, but Thank I'm you. lying. But here's the statement that he, Drake always hits him to do this around his album to get him more attention. It was, it was a plea. Big plea. But I didn't expect Charlemagne. I don't I'm think it was a hate plea. Me. I don't think it was a plea. I think that was just Charlemagne's way of saying, yo, I don't even want this to turn into some shit like yeah. I really got an issue with Drake because I don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? So this is part of the rollout. Every time he got an album coming out, he hits me so we can That's get into true. it. That's not true. Of course it's not. He's joking <laughs> about that. Charlemagne is not. He wasn't serious about that. He I, was just trying to say like, yo, well, I this thought is he was not... lying about the, the Drake and I talk for the rollout. Yeah, he is lying about that. that I know he's definitely just, lying about that's that. That's his way of just saying like, yo, bro, this is not, I don't even want to turn this into a, a real issue. It's not. Like, this is just, you know, it is what it is. He said what he said. Cool. Like, I still don't, didn't see nobody talking about the song. Like, he could still feel how he feel about the song, but he just don't want it to turn into some I would have preferred better, at least better sarcasm from Charlemagne in that regard. I don't, when was the last time, the Meek diss was the last time there was a Charlemagne involved rollout. Yeah, but I, I think that, like you said, Charlemagne is, he's a little older, more mature now, and, you know, he's kind of changed his stance on his his role on the show, on The Breakfast Club. I think that he's just like, he feels like that thing is getting old, the situation with him and Drake. He feels like, like, bro, I don't even want this to even seem remotely close to re being a real issue because it's not. So I think this was his way of saying, listen, man, we don't got to talk about I'm that. I'm all like, for people changing, and I think it's great. We shouldn't be held to our past opinions. Our, you know, If we really actually change, we shouldn't be held to that to some degree. You still, you still deserve that bullet. <laughs> you can't now say, yo, I'm changed, and you know, back in the day I used to pick on him for no reason. No, no, no. I thought it was funny. And be like, yo, I'm over this. I'm too old. Like, no, mm -hmm. you still... You still have to have accountability for shit that you did, even if you've, you've changed. No, no, no. And like I said, I don't. I didn't think that what he said with Schultz was a shot. I, I think that was literally him just like talking about the song. Like, damn, I didn't even see nobody talking about it. I don't think that was a shot. And I think that's why he took this stance that he took on The Breakfast Club of saying like, no, it's part of the rollout. We do this all the time. Like, it's all good. It's, it's no real beef. So I, I, I understand it. And I, I, I guess I respect it. I feel like Charlemagne is a big Drake fan. And he regrets a lot of that. Yeah, I mean it's hard. Not, it's hard to not be a Drake fan. Mm. He makes great music. Like, Stop. I'm not saying you have to go to his shows. I'm not saying you have to buy his merch. But if you hear a Drake song, it's hard to be like, "That's a terrible song." That's like, I think a lot of lot of media people and like personalities, quote unquote, that jumped out the window early. I'm talking like before views, before all that. That hated on Drake, regret that they did it now, because now they see where music is at, and he might be the best person that we have. Mm -hmm. So they have to take stances like this. I mean, people are wrong, you know. At the time, you you wrong, but it, I think by now the people that were wrong recognize that they were wrong, and it is what it is. But I don't. I think this is just Charlemagne's way of saying, "Listen, before this even remotely turns into something, let's. I'm not even putting no energy in this. I'm not responding in a negative way to what Drake posted on the story. This is what we do for a rollout. He hits me up, and I react in a way, and then he posts pictures about me. That's what we do. That's just a, a, a cool way of saying. But they don't do that. Yeah, but everybody knows that. <laughs> anybody, anybody that heard that know that Drake is not hitting Charlemagne for no, no fucking I'm rollout. I'm saying they don't do that, period. Who doesn't do that? That's never been a thing. Artists? Drake and Charlemagne oh, no, being yeah, involved no. in each other's rollouts. No, 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 no. Every, every, people know that. That's not, that's not real. And that's part of why he responded that way, to say, 
Listen, fam, this is not a real, I don't have a real issue with Drake. Yeah. No, Warrior, 